on China's first domestically produced electromagnetic catapult aircraft carrier, Fujian ship, service time. Some people previously speculated that it may be in April this year, Navy Day, around this time node, or indeed there is a reason. The reason is very simple, even the official media have begun to release the relevant signals. In a media report, appeared in the PLA Naval Aviation University to land-based fixed-wing aircraft, simulating a new type of domestic carrier aircraft for land simulation of aircraft carrier takeoff and landing training images. During the period, it was mentioned that, this new type of carrier aircraft has not yet been installed. The pilot interviewed confirmed that the Fujian ship with the port number 18 will soon be installed. In conjunction with the video, a domestically produced transport aircraft, the Yun-7, was seen several times being used for training. Some people believe that this should be the Chinese Naval Aviation University to transport seven light transport aircraft, simulating the similar size of the airborne early warning aircraft of the airborne police 600 carrier takeoff and landing maneuvers. It must be admitted that such speculation is justified. At present, it seems that the world's only fixed-wing shipborne early warning aircraft in active service, only the US E-2C and E-2D, this warplane for the US Navy Carrier Strike Group of self-contained system, plays an important role. And in the future, Fujian ship, carrier formation. If this carrier battle group want to be in the distant sea, an ocean in the same, self-contained system, and even with the U.S. carrier strike group counterweight, that the former naturally can, not lack a fixed-wing ship or an early warning aircraft. Airborne police, 600 the value of the Air Marshal 600 lies here. However, the use of turboprop engine domestic carrier aircraft there will only be airborne police, 600 this one, not necessarily, considering that there is no similar U.S. V-22, Fish Hawk, series of tilt rotor type military aircraft, and the Fujian ship, battle group may go to more distant waters for deployment and combat, so some size and weight are larger, and the geometry is not very regular therefore, some of the larger size and weight, and geometry is not very regular bulk materials will become a major impact or even constraints on the carrier to play the aviation combat capability of a major key factors. For example, providing and transporting spare engines for carrier aircraft that need to be re-engineered. In this regard, the U.S. Navy Carrier Strike Group has long relied on the seemingly obscure but essential C-2 Greyhound turboprop carrier aircraft, especially when the U.S. Navy began to install F-35C stealth carrier aircraft. CMV-22 tilt rotor carrier aircraft NHL interior. It is difficult to accommodate the F-35C use of the F-135 aero engine. If their F-35C need to replace the engine during the sea, it can only be by the cargo hold volume as larger C-2 shipborne transport aircraft. Round trip from the carrier deployment of the sea closer to the land overseas bases to achieve the F-135 engine delivery repair and replacement. And here in the Chinese Navy, a similar scenario is possible. For some time to come, China's potential theater of operations will be in the vicinity of the second island chain. Due to the lack of overseas bases, the PLA carrier battle group's ability to sustain operations for a long period of time will rely heavily on the support of fast integrated replenishment ships like the Type 901. However, please note that there is an upper limit to the amount of supplies that can be carried by a fast integrated supply ship. In a large scale and high intensity air and sea battle, the integrated supply ship can only prioritize the carrying of weapons, ammunition, fuel and food and other materials. It is difficult to have enough spare capacity to carry the carrier aircraft spare engines. In this way, once the Fujian ship and other carrier aircraft carrier aircraft war injuries and need to replace the engine, then the only feasible way is afraid to use the shipborne transport aircraft. With this fighter aircraft will be damaged to the rear of the aero engine to send for repair and bring back intact engine for replacement, so as to ensure that the repair of the shipborne aircraft can be as soon as possible to resume this ensures that the repaired aircraft will be able to regain its operational capability as soon as possible. From this point of view, a cargo hold size and load capacity can be loaded with aero engine shipborne fixed wing transport aircraft obviously is one of the indispensable equipment. Therefore, while continuing to pay attention to new models such as the J-15T heavy shipboard fighter, J-35 stealth shipboard fighter, airborne police 600 shipboard AWACS, and straight 20 shipboard helicopters, 
We should not ignore this important model of shipboard transport aircraft. The PLA Naval Aviation University is using the Yun-7 as a platform for training, which may have a relevant intention, or perhaps the paddle-type fixed-wing carrier aircraft, not only the Air Marshal 600, 